Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone 14 Pro to a OnePlus N200 with Android 12. In order to do this transfer, you need to factory reset your Android device. So depending on your Android device, you need to go to system settings. And from here, look for backup and reset. And you're going to click reset phone, erase all data. Erase data, erase data. So this OnePlus is going to be factory restored, all right? Then on the iPhone, what do I need to do? I need to make sure that I have the latest versions of everything. Let's start with the iOS. My iPhone is up to date with iOS 16.1.1. Then I need to make sure that my WhatsApp also is updated. You're going to open the App Store and you're going to look for WhatsApp. And if you see open, that means that this is the latest version. 22, 23, 76 of one week ago. And then I'm going to do a backup here. I'm going to go to chats, chat backup. I'm going to include videos, auto backup. I'm going to put it daily and I'm going to back it up now. By doing this, I'm going to make sure that I have the latest backup version of my WhatsApp. Since we are on the iPhone, you know that the backup is going to happen at the iCloud. Once we finish this, we're going to do a backup of iCloud just to make sure, you know. The size of this backup is only 46 max, but in your case, you're probably going to have gigs of data. The more data you have, the longer this process is going to take. So I recommend you also to clean up your WhatsApp, delete all the messages, videos, and pictures that you don't need to make your backup slimmer because the bigger the backup, the longer it's going to take to do this transfer. But you need to make sure guys that it finishes a hundred percent because if you break it up, if I stop right now and later I want to restore the backup, the backup is not going to be completely complete and it might be corrupted. You might not be able to use the backup. So always make sure to complete the backup 100%. So I finished guys. You can see last backup today at 9.43 a.m. Total size 46 meg, videos 20 max, right? This is an incremental backup. Now that I have my chat backup ready on WhatsApp, just to make sure guys, I want to do an iCloud backup. How can I do an iCloud backup? I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to click on my Apple ID, iCloud, and here you're going to click iCloud backup and you're going to back it up now. Guys, I'm using the free iCloud backup, which is only five gigabytes of data. If you have more than five gigabytes, make sure you have a plan with iCloud. 50 gigs for $1 a month, 200 gigs for $3 a month and two terabytes for $10 a month. Our goal is to move all the WhatsApp chat history from the iPhone to the Android device. Before that, let's make sure what do we have here, especially this chat. This chat has a lot of stuff, including pictures and videos. Okay. Contacts and you have files like PDF files, Word document, Excel. We have emojis. We have stickers. We have um, audio. And then we have like regular conversations. Okay. Our goal is to see all these chats on this new Android. So how can we do it? Let's click start. We're going to put agree and it says privacy policy. Agree. Connect to a mobile network. I'm going to click skip and I'm going to connect to a Wi-Fi. Okay. This is my Wi-Fi and that should be the, the password. Now it says connected, right? It's trying to connect. It's going to check for updates. Again, this is the OnePlus North 200 and it has Android 12. The security patch is from October 2022. Just a few moments. And now this is important, guys. This is the screen that we need. Copy apps and data. We're going to click next. Use your old device. You need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. I'm going to click next. And this is find your old device cable. This is the cable that we're going to need, guys. This cable comes on all the new iPhones. It goes from lighting to USB-C. If you don't have it, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can buy it. I think it costs $10. I'm going to connect the lighting to the iPhone 14 Pro. Okay. And it's going to follow this. It says connect to your old device. Okay. Next. Insert cable into your old device. I did connect both devices using the cable. So now it's time to connect this device to the one plus so make sure you have your android and your iphone charge 100 percent before doing this and then it says trust this computer you're going to click trust now look at this it says devices are connected next this is very important whatever email you use for your whatsapp i want you to use the same email here 
and you do need to sign in all right in my case is this account agree and then it says getting ready to copy now you are allowed to move everything all the apps and pictures and videos in my case i'm just gonna move what's up you see it's only 201 megabytes and look at this on the apps you see WhatsApp Messenger? That's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna deselect everything and then just gonna select WhatsApp. I'm gonna click OK. Contacts, I do want. Pictures, that's okay. Messages, you know, that's little things. I'm gonna click Copy. Now, look at the QR code. It says, scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap Start. A lot of people don't see this QR code. How can I scan this? I need to open my camera app on the iPhone and I'm gonna put it on top. And that's going to read the WhatsApp link. It's going to open WhatsApp and immediately it's going to say move chats to Android. Then you're going to click start. And this is the magic happening, guys. Continue on your new phone. Back up to Google Drive. Use location. Diagnostics, I don't want. So I'm going to click accept. Continue setup. I'm going to click continue. Uh, I'm going to skip this Google. I'm, the, I'm not going to put an unlocking mode. I'm going to skip the Google Pay. No thanks. So apps. I'm going to click done. Turn off iMessage. If I want to use this Android device as my main device, I'm going to have to turn off iMessage on the iPhone. That's pretty simple. You just go to settings messages and you see i message here you disable it in my case i'm not going to do it but you can do it if you want and then click done co-creation labs i'm going to put skip disagree okay apply navigation style setup complete start now here look look at this google play completing setup install zero of 17 applications so you can click there install look whatsapp is pending right updates i'm gonna stop the updates gonna stop the updates on the install i'm gonna stop the the other ones that i don't need i'm concentrating on whatsapp messenger it says pending what happened if i click on whatsapp you see it's downloading whatsapp look seven percent of 36 megabytes if i go back still gonna say install pending but you see that it's installing right now this is the first time i'm doing whatsapp chat transfer from an iphone to an android device that is not a samsung or a pixel all right guys so this is important because we know that with a pixel 3 and up and with a samsung android 10 and up you can do these transfers without problems but the other android phones are the ones that people are asking me how can i do it in a xiaomi how can i do it on a oneplus so that's why I bought this OnePlus with Android 12 to show you how to do it. If you have Android 12, this method should work the same on your device. If it's a Xiaomi or Motorola, as long as you have Android 12, this should work. 27%. Oh, now it's going faster. 66, 67, 80, 92, 97. Installing. Now look at this. And we're going to open it. I'm going to click agree and continue. Enter the phone number 786-753-4663. Next. Okay. And I got a confirmation code here. And my WhatsApp is going to be 412-588. Contacts and media, continue, allowed, allowed. And this is the screen that we were missing, guys. This is the most important screen. If you see this screen, you are good. It says importing chat history, all right? Start. And this is what is going to import from the iPhone. Import complete. Next. Backup daily on this email. 
including videos done. And look at this guys, all my WhatsApp chat history that I have on the iPhone, now I have it on my Android. And let's double click that. Remember I show you this? I show you this chat. So if you open this, you should be able to see everything. Look, the videos, okay, the cat, contacts, PDF files, Excel, Word documents, zip files, PowerPoint. You have the stickers and you have the emojis and you have the audio. And that's it guys, it's beautiful because now that I have it on the Android, on a Google Drive, I can put it on any Android device. Look, go to settings, go to chats, go to chat backup and do a backup, you know, include videos and do a backup. And once you have it back it up on the Google Drive, you can put it on any device that is using Google Drive. So any Android device pretty much. And that's it, guys. I show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone, in this case, an iPhone 14 Pro, to an Android device, in this case, a OnePlus North 200 with Android 12. I hope you like it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.